Okay, ready for a long word problem? Well, the problem doesn't take that long to do, but there's a lot of text here. It actually takes longer to write the problem out than it does to actually do it. So let's just go ahead and, and jump into it. Best way to handle these, if it looks intimidating, just take it sentence by sentence and then kind of write down or draw diagrams as you go through. So that's what we're going to do here. Police cruiser approaching a right angled intersection from the north is chasing a speeding car that has turned the corner and is now moving east. Let's draw a picture that describes that. The cruiser is coming down from the north, so it's moving down. We hit the right angle intersection and then the other car has already made that turn and it's gone to the right. Now later on in this problem, I noticed it says distance between them, so I'm gonna have to do something about this third side. So I'm actually gonna form a triangle and that's actually gonna be my relationship uh, between this. I'm gonna put some variables in here. Vertical distance I'll call Y. Horizontal distance is X. And then that side I'm gonna use S for the distance between them. It's good to set this up first because then later on when we have numbers, we'll know what variable to assign that number to. When the cruiser is 0.6 miles north of the intersection, that's gonna be a Y. So Y is equal to 0.6. So the car is 0.8 miles to the east. That's your x. Your x is going to be uh, 0.8. Now, it doesn't tell us anything about the s, but we can figure that out with Pythagorean theorem because we have a right triangle here. x squared plus y squared equals s squared. If we do the math on that, 0.8 squared is 0 0.64. 0 0.6 squared is 0 0.36. Add that together, we get a 1. So s is going to equal one in this case. Let's keep reading and see what else they give us. Okay, they please determine with radar that the distance between them and the car is increasing at 20 miles per hour. The distance between them is increasing at 20 miles per hour. That involves the S. In fact, it's going to be dS dt specifically is what they gave us here. And this is going to be 20. The cruiser is moving at 60 miles per hour. The cruiser is the y variable, so that's dy dt. Now, it's moving down, remember. So the way I have this set up here, if I'm working with a regular graphing system, if I'm, every time I have something moving down, that's moving in the negative direction. So this, you gotta be really careful. Your dy dt is gotta be negative 60 in this case because it's moving down. What's it asking for? What is the car's speed? It's asking for dx dt. Okay, and it sh we should get a positive answer because it's gonna be moving to the right. Let's set up the formula that we're gonna use to take the derivative with respect to t. x squared plus y squared equals s squared. We did that earlier. We talked about it already when we saw for the s, but we're gonna do that again here. So x squared plus y squared equals s squared. Going to do the derivative of both sides with respect to time. 2 comes down x. Don't forget about the chain rule. Okay, we did the outside function multiplied by the derivative of the inside. That's where you get the dx dt from. Plus 2y dy dt equals 2s ds dt. So I did everything all separately. I applied the chain rule of those. Okay, now we're ready to put in all this information that we found, and we're gonna be solving for dx dt. So this first one I have two, and then instead of the x, I wanna put in 0.8, since that's what was given. We mentioned that dx dt is what we're trying to solve for. Then I have two times the y, the y is gonna be 0.6, and then I have uh, times dy dt, negative 60, okay equals two times s, so again, we, we did have to use that s there, we found that already, that's one. And then dS dt is given as 20. Okay, so now that I have this line, I'm ready to start solving for dX dt. Two times 0.8, 1.6 dX dt. I got a minus on that one. If I multiply this together, we're gonna get 72, and then we get 40, on the other side. 
If you add 72 divided by 1.6, I'll just give the final answer. Dx dt should be 70 miles per hour. So that's how fast the car is actually moving at that time. This would be your final answer.